Hi everybody, welcome back to the Kid Friendly Video Channel. We're making custom cars from Disney Pixar Cars. And what this happens to be is yesterday's video, this is actually Jeff Corvette painted just like Chase Racelot, okay? And I do that for a lot of cars. And if you're watching your videos all the time, you'll see we have a whole selection of custom cars here from Pixar Cars. Uh, for example, there's the King, painted like a zebra. And here's Lightning McQueen with sand on them, looks just like Chester whip a filter and we have uh, Cruz Ramirez dressed up as Fabulous Cruz honoring uh, Doc Hudson with her number and over here we have all kinds of uh, demolition derby cars, we made them all, look there's Fair Game that's made from um, Daryl Cartrip and this is Pile Up, he's made from Leakless and of course Sig Alert made from Ramon and T-Bone and Jimbo who happens to be made from Mater and High Impact from Chick Hicks and believe it or not this is APV APB I mean a police car it's made from Boost, note the Boost tanks and we have all kinds of rainbow series here we got Rainbow Lightning McQueen and a few other rainbows we have back here Rainbow Miss Fritter on one side and Zebra Miss Fritter on the other side and the video I'm going to make today believe it or not is actually Broadside that was a suggestion by one of the fans that's watching all our videos make Broadside so I have a couple of pictures of Broadside. Uh, one version has brown wheels, one has regular black wheels, I mean blue wheels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make um, Broadside out of Mater. So I dug through all my Maters and I found this, look, I found Ivan. Ivan is actually, looks very similar to Broadside. I can make it work. What I'm going to do is uh, cut off his toe hooks in the back and I'm going to repaint it primer and then another color blue with a white stripe and uh, the eyes are going to stay the same and a gray bumper so it's going to look very much like broadside when I'm done. So let's uh, get our pliers out first thing and remove the uh, toe assembly in the back. I'll see if I can get that off without hurting too much of it. We don't need the toe hook anymore. This is now broadside so I'll just cut that off. Um, it's actually pretty good. I actually have two Ivans so I'm not worried about losing one and uh, that's okay. It's going to be a little pickup truck in a minute. Now I realize there's actually some sort of a suspension in the back broadside that looks a little different but I think we can live without that. This is a reasonable facsimile of the car. I shouldn't say that. It's actually quite close. I'll just leave this right there. I'll leave the bottom part in because it looks kind of like it belongs there. Okay I'll leave that part there. I'll paint that all too. I'll cut the rope. Okay and we're going to cut off his uh, lights on top. There's no lights. And he has no mirrors. Cut the mirrors off. And the headlights look really nice. I'm gonna snap the headlights off right there. If I can. Yeah, there goes one. And here goes the other one. This, this is a demolition derby car, right? So we have to make them look pretty rough. Okay, there goes Ivan's headlights. And I'm gonna cover that whole thing up and paint them gray. And the rest I can do now, I'm just gonna paint the whole thing primer gray right now to get the right colors, okay? And then we'll work backwards and paint it the right color. All I wanted this one for, for Mater, is because he got a hood. Mater has no engine hood. This one here has Mater with an engine hood. So let's uh, get our paint out and prime it. Okay, we got the paint ready to go. We got lots of primer gray. In case you're wondering, yes, I do have two Ivans. And this Ivan has different eyes. So I chose this Ivan because the eyes match more of the eyes on broadside, see? Very similar. And I'm going to start now, paint the whole thing primer gray, and then we'll let it dry, and then we'll repaint it a nice blue. Actually, it'll look a lot more closely when I finish the right blue. And I'll cover over his mustache. I have to make a whole grill there. And I'm going to really do a nice job of making it look just like... Actually, I can paint the windows and everything on the sides here because they're actually blue grid. Like, there's a grid on them. And the tires are actually... I'm going to leave them... For now, I'm not sure whether to make them brown, like muddy, or make them blue and white, just like in the, uh, the other pictures. So I'll have to wait and see how it turns out. I try not to get too much on the tires and wheels. But I guess it doesn't matter, so I'm going to paint the wheels anyway. I'll probably get it all over them. So you guys liked the video I made yesterday with um, Chase Race Lot. I uh, put it up a little early this morning and it didn't get any views so I removed it and put it up again an hour later and it took off like crazy so it all depends on what time I uh, upload the videos I get a lot of views so if you, you see it at the wrong time of day not getting any views 
I'll probably delete it and put it back up again. It's the way the algorithm works. Certain time of day, people are ready to watch it. So I had it up too early this morning and I deleted it and put it up again and now it's going like crazy. So I didn't want anybody to miss out on it because sometimes the uh, algorithm that YouTube uses doesn't suggest it to anybody. So it just sits there doing nothing. So I had to get out and um, take some action and, and delete it and put it up again. So that's, if you're wondering what happened there this morning, that's what happened. And I don't do that very often, but uh, occasionally you put a video up, it just sits there, does nothing, nobody sees it, it doesn't even go out anywhere, so I have to really take some action. Okay, we're almost done here. The, the uh, primer's not looking very good because it's white going over a, a dark blue truck, so I'm not gonna bother putting a second coat on. The next coat of paint I put on is going to be the, the blue that matches more like broadside, okay? So we're gonna mix it up in a few minutes. Leave this dry and come back in a few minutes and we'll start our first coat of blue. Okay, I'm gonna start with this dark blue here to see if that's even close to it. Put a lot of paint in there. I might have to put two coats. Definitely gonna put two coats on it. Let's see if that's close. And if it's a picture, I'll see if it's close to the picture. Yeah, it's actually very close. It's quite a bit different than the original Jim, um, Ivan. So we're just gonna go with that color. In a few minutes time, when the paint dries, we'll paint the whole thing that color. Okay, we're back. The paint's pretty dry now, and I'm gonna put the first coat of um, blue on broadside. Oh, that's a perfect, perfect match. It's a lot different than Ivan's color. Watch, I'll show you. See, no comparison, it's way too dark. So I'm glad I painted it anyway. I didn't wanna, just don't, didn't wanna put just stripes on this car without painting it. I wanted to make sure it looks so much more like natural color broadside. And when I put his face on too, with the teeth and the, the grill and the eyes, well not the eyes, but the whatever the iron thing, I won't be able to put a snorkel, there's sort of a snorkel on the side, I won't be able to put that on. Now there's some sort of a grid in the pattern in the window here, I'll figure that out later. But um, right now I just want to get the first coat on, and we'll come back and put another coat on, make sure it's nice and thick. That's much better looking. Thanks again for all you folks who are suggesting these these videos that you like to see. I still, I went out and bought a brand new Jackson Storm, so I can make that zebra or something, and I got a Danny Swervez, I don't know what to do with him. And I also have a Roscoe right there, and a, and a brand new Chick Hicks, and a couple of um, Cruz and Mirrors is back there. I didn't even open up some of them yet, so they're all going to be used somewhere. I don't have a, a zebra colored Chick Hicks yet. I mean, a zebra colored um, Cruz and Mirrors yet. I do have a zebra Chick Hicks, obviously. It's one of the first ones I did in zebra. For some reason, people like the zebra. Can you tell me why everyone likes the zebra videos? I don't know. They're pretty cool though. I like doing them. But somebody gave me a tip the other day. He said, after you prime it, paint the whole vehicle white and then add the black stripes. That that makes too much sense. That's a very good tip, buddy. Thank you very much. Whoever it was, if you read, if you hear this here and you sent that comment, um, make the comment again, say if you're welcome or something. That's a great idea. Okay, we're getting there, folks. I gotta do a little more fancy work around the eyes here. I wanna make sure it's nice and dark. And I'm gonna try and somehow make it a little meaner looking eventually. With a little bit of a stripe or something. Yeah, just a little bit lower, that's off across his eyes. Oh yeah, that's it. Just like that there. Perfect. Look at that. Wow. Okay, that was excellent. That's one of the best ones I've ever did, actually, with the eyes. Okay, now I'll turn to the back. I definitely want to put two coats on this, so this is only the first. I want it nice and deep, deep blue. And actually the back's not perfect. Like I said, it doesn't have that cross in the back, but I'm leaving this here um, assembly partially in there to kind of look a bit like it. You know what I mean. But it doesn't really matter. Once I get the, the stripes on and the number 25 on the door. Oh, geez, it's still wet in there, darn it. Uh -oh. It's gonna be a messy, hey? Well, lucky it's a demolition derby car. It's not gonna matter that much. I'll have to leave it dry a little longer this time. Obviously, I didn't leave it dry enough. Some gray still mixed in there. Oh well, demolition derby. That's all I can say. Doesn't matter, I'll leave it dry a lot longer. And then we'll come back and put the second coat on. And then we'll start putting the stripes on. And it's more of the detailing, I guess. The detail is the hard part. This part's pretty simple. Um, slopping the paint on, wow. So there's the first coat on broadside. We'll come back in a few minutes. Now I realize the roof's a little bit flatter, but it's okay. I can get the numbers on the stripes. It'll look pretty close. Okay, we're all set for the second coat of 
broadside with this nice blue. Oh, I'm out of blue paint, so I better add some more. And I'm gonna mix up some gray later and white stripe right on the whole thing here. So let's put this full coat of beautiful blue paint on broadside to bring out all the nice richness of the color. It's gonna be so nice looking when it's done. Second coat goes on so much better. And like I said in the last uh, section there guys, keep sending me in your comments and your ideas and make sure you subscribe. I keep forgetting to say that. Subscribe to the channel. There's a button there to subscribe and you will get all the updates if you hit the bell. There's a bell there you must select to get the updates whenever I upload a video, which is almost every day or every day lately. So you just keep putting the, uh, I mean hit the select button there for subscribe and whenever we put a video up you get a notification that there's a new video there. And these are all child friendly, kid friendly videos. There's a lot of discussion going on, on YouTube lately about bad videos out there and these are not bad videos these are fun videos and that's probably why they're still up there because they're taking them all down a lot of people these are good videos nice and clean and fun for all all kids and if you ever wonder yes i did this when i was a kid too i had a bunch of little toys that i used to paint when i was a child because we didn't have any video games but that's a different story but anyway this is lots of fun you can take your toys and i used to even paint my bicycle when i was a kid Take it all apart, take all the wheels off and the gears, paint the wheels, I mean paint the, the frame, put it back together like a brand new bike. There we go, that's almost done. I'm not going to bother doing the inside now because that looks pretty much finished anyway. It doesn't matter, it's a demolition derby car. That's not too bad. I'm not worried about that too much. Once we come back after this dries, I'm going to put the big stripe along the side, number, and then the number 25 goes right in the door with a fine point. Uh, brush and I'm going to paint the bumper gray. These things here are going to be gray and there's a black line where the grill used to be and some white teeth. I'll put them on as it goes along. There's not much to this car. Like it's almost done now. So we'll come back in a few minutes once it's dry and start adding some finishing touches to it. Okay, we got the uh, the truck pretty much the right color now. And now I'm going to put the wheels blue. So I have a small little brush here. I'm just going to put a little bit of blue paint around the wheels. It's kind of sloppy looking so it doesn't look, you know, whatever, perfect. It's just a bit blue kind of like um, it would be with Demolition Derby car. And the other picture shows muddy tires, but I don't want to make the muddy tires, okay? Because this is the car that you get in the package, and blue wheels. So I'll try my best to make it close as I can. Okay, a little bit of blue. It's not all blue, because silver's in it too. So that's why I'm not completely covering them in blue. There. That's enough of the blue on that. And now what we're gonna do, that's pretty good actually, is um, I have um, to do the bumper in dark gray and the lights in gray. And there's snorkels here I don't have. I'm gonna just put some gray spots on there. So I have some gray paint here. I'm gonna put it in this here. That's too light. I'm gonna add a little bit of black, just a little tiny bit of black to darken it up. So it looks more like that dark gray. Just a speck there. Now we'll stir that up and see if it's see if it's still gray, but not too light, too dark. Actually, that's probably a bit too dark. Yeah, a little bit more gray. So I need put too much black in there. Kind of hard to put a small drop of black in. Okay, here goes. I don't need very much, so I'm just gonna make a little tiny bit up. Okay, now I'm gonna get the brush. I'm gonna do the front bumper and the back bumper, and this headlight. I got a special brush here. There we go. Here goes the bumper. Yeah, it's nice. Just the right color, actually. And it's not. Um, this bumper is kind of angled down. I'm going to make a flat, a flat bumper right across, right across the whole thing. And there's actually his eyes are kind of gray, like the, not eyes, his where his headlights were. It's all grayed out. And there's a bit of a snorkel on each side. So I'm just going to make a pipe like a circle right here. One on the other side too. Okay, I'm gonna just pretend the back bumper is dark gray as well. So I'm just gonna draw a dark line right here. I don't have the back view of it, so I'm just guessing. If you have this car at home, let me know what color the bumper is. There, okay. And so far, we're gonna leave that dry for a minute, and we'll come back and uh, put on the white stripe and the black grill. There's a kind of a grill there. And then I'll put some white teeth on right along here, okay? Okay, that's all good and dry now. I'm gonna put a little bit of black paint right there. 
and the first thing I'm going to do is paint the white stripe along the side. Now I've got a thin brush here, I'm going to put a white brush and I'm going to um, write number 25 on the side when that's dry. Okay, where's the white paint gun? Okay, it's right here. Okay, here goes the white stripe along the whole length of the truck. Right across, um, looks like it's right below here. Okay, and on the other side as well. Okay, here goes. Okay, that's number, that's the stripe on each side. Let's see what else is white here. It's a nice wide stripe. And the number 25 is written on there very tiny. I have to go back later and and um, put some black through it as well. So it's 25. Don't mind the fact that it's in the white paint because the black brings it out. Okay. And once I put the lines on it. Okay, here goes. 25. And let's see. Oh yes, the black. Um, there's a small black grill across the front. Some black paint right here. And it's kind of weird, it just goes like a, it outlines this guy's mustache actually, almost the same. Just really, that's about it. That's about it on the front there. And the snorkels are okay, the headlights are okay. I need some white teeth. Um, here's some white paint. I'll put the white teeth on now and that'll, that'll be dry and finished. Just four little teeth. much to it. Wow, man, that came pretty good. Now I'll come back in a minute and put the black outline on the 25, so that'll be the end of it then. Okay, we're almost done here. All I have to do is put the number 25 in black inside the number 25, so that'll be the end of it. So I have a little bit of black paint here. I'm going to try and very carefully write 25 in the middle here. Actually, it came pretty good. That's the hardest part. Someone suggested I use a Sharpie which would be a, a, a good way of doing it, I have to admit. Okay, and now the other side. Let's uh, see if I can get this just to do the other side. Nice. And one more of the five. Well, I think that's the end, folks. This is broadside number 25, the Demolition Derby. Let's uh, clean up here and have a look, see how it looks. Well, there you have it, everybody. We took um, Ivan from Cars 2. He was the bad guy, or it might have been Mater. He disguised as Ivan, we're not sure. And we turned it into broadside. And here is what it looks like in the picture. So I have to admit, that's not a bad, now this has brown wheels because it's muddy. But here's the other picture um, with blue wheels. There's broadside, and there's our broadside. What do you think of that? Send me your comments, you like it or not like it. The bumper's gray, the side's perfect. Um, that was a good job, I hope. I hope you like it. Send in more suggestions. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.